Hello and welcome back to Top the Pups. That's right. We're going to the top. We're going to the top. That's just... That's the intro to the show. I don't have anything to elaborate on. We're currently ranked 10. We have two stars. And... We're persevering. With our... With our Paladin deck. So... Let's get to it. So if we could recap briefly. Last episode of the Top of the Pups. If you didn't catch it. Uh, we had a match against a Warlock who tried to aggro us down. Didn't work because he swung over my head. I buffed my weenies. And we had a fantastic time with his body. Um, second match, we had a hilariously close match with a Shaman. With a Shaman. And we played Ragnaros Roulette like six times. <laughs> and we came through. We pulled through. We managed to pick up a star. If I, get, if I win this game, actually, I'll get... um. I'll get a bonus star for a win streak, which is cool. So I'm excited about that. So hopefully we can pull through and win our third game in a row. I hope you like my invention. This episode of Top of the Pops. Um, Blood Knight by himself? Yep, he's a good response. Glory to the you know, don't always have to one more combo. And we are playing against a rogue, so... Board control is going to be important, since his deck is probably going to be control-based. And if we throw enough at him, rogues don't have enough hard removal to keep up with that. They've got Execute, but that's a 5-drop, so we should be good till then. Whereas when you're playing against Mage, it's like Fireball, Fireball, Cone of Cold Blizzard, Flame Strike, Pyroblast, and you just can't keep up. Whereas this deck is going to rely on damage removal. Which we can deal with. Okay, hopefully he takes the trade, um, plays a bunch of creatures, and we can consecrate next turn. And then we'll only be in a good spot, we'll have uh, card advantage. And all that good stuff. We'll, we'll catch up. Also, taking out a scrub is pretty hard. Small one. Oh, you idiot. You idiot. You're not scared of Consecration. It's turn four, dude. What do you think's gonna happen? Are we gonna be greedy? I take eight. I don't like the odds that he has two of these, so let's not be greedy. So I could have been greedy there, played the Sword of Justice. Not really much I could have done with that out, because I would have had to Consecrate anyway. Oh, I could have Sword of Justice into... I could have taken like 6 damage in exchange for a 2-2. Now we need to top deck an ooze. Now is the time for ooze. Also, they're probably going to sort of justice and ping that off. Now is apparently not the time for ooze. Well, ooze, you can go fuck yourself. We're going to persevere. In it. Also, Sword of Justice is seriously like the best weapon in the game. It's like a good... What's that really shitty hammer that this is a good version of? I don't know. It's two swords! Even the dude holding it is like, holy fuck yes. Deodorant for men. Uh-oh. That's not good. Um, let's just do a little bit of this to keep the heat up. It sort of wastes the buff. Actually, no, it doesn't. He's going to remove that somehow. But we can choose Silver Champion the next time. We'll take a lot of damage. Actually, we can Arjun Protector and trade for that next turn anyway. But I'm glad I took that off, so now he's got to think about the trade. So if he's going to Eviscerate, he needs to combo it. Hmm. Which with 5 cards isn't unreasonable, but I'm not too worried about it. Otherwise, he has to Execute it. And if he wastes an Execute on a 3-3 three, three Silverhand Recruit, I'm not too unhappy about it. We're getting pretty low though. 8 potential health in our hand. Life. Whatever it's called. So many Let's see what the flames of Rohoro have to say about this. How do you pronounce 
Rahola? Rahola. Rahola. Execute? Eviscerate. Eviscerate. Okay. The play is going to be Oz Protector, Menchiko. Trade for the 6 2. Actually. No, it's not. We can do better than that. Okay, that's on the left. Remember that. For justice. And I'm gonna swing at his face next turn or risk being killed by Actually no, he's used it as bit his eviscerates. What did he use to kill my thing at the start? That was two damage, that was um backstab. So he's got another eviscerates, we gotta look out for that. He's also got another Argent Commander, which is not good. So he's got lethal right now. If he's got both those things in his hand, which he very well might. We gotta get taunt up very quickly, or at least we gotta swing with our true silver champions. We must cleanse the sunwell. Okay, he's got he's not got a lot of options in his hand right now. That's really good. Ha, this guy's toast. This is very good. Now I'm gonna swing at his face to get out of lethal range. And that is his last of his race, so... Now, Defender of Argus, do I want to play this early? Do I want to play this with anything else? I definitely need Taunt Up. And these this definitely need to die, so... This is my responsibility. Oh, no. I could Defender of Argus and then Kings, but then we're vulnerable to Execute and some dirty plays. Reporting for duty. So we can play things very safe. Oh shit, the bug! Wait, what? Why isn't that on the right? I just spawned him. That should be on the right hand side. Always. What the shit, game? Seriously? Okay. Whatever. Now, that's gonna spawn a 2 1. So I'm gonna kings this dude. Let hmm. me think. Into the breach. The battle. That bug really... Actually, that, 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 that recruit would have died anyway. Alright, we're in the top decking phase. He shouldn't be able to kill me same turn now, and I can start swinging in his face for the true silver champion. Get out of lethal for things like head crack if he's, for whatever reason, running head crack. He's not running head crack. Okay, we need more taunt up. Because we lose, like, right now. Old friend. For justice. Um, let's not put our eggs in one basket. The battle. Cool, he's on one life. What can kill us right now? Argent Commander is about the only thing that can kill us right now. Pass me that arc light <sighs> he can still kill us. <laughs> He can still get Argent Commanded. Actually, no, he can't. He can't dagger as well. well played. We 
are going to be legendary very soon. I can feel it in my bones. So can Cyclops. Who is an Ogre Magi? I think he is. Yeah, that's three in a row. This is looking to be a good series. If I do say so myself. So what were the important... What were the, hold on, let's try and look back and think about what were the most important moves that game. I think it was... So I always like to look back... I always like to think back and be like, okay, what was the key decision that drove the momentum of that match? I think top decking the oozes really saved me. Demands retribution. Because he could have cleared more things, I guess. Do I want to hold on to Tyrion? I'm up against another paladin. And he did mulligan a lot. I like holding on to him because he's a fantastic... I could drop him on turn 7. Are we really going to be this greedy? I'm not holding on to him. We'll find him later. Yeah, it's a solid hand. I mean, there's better, but it's okay. That's really good. The Ooze is going to win us this match, I feel. Up against other Paladins, the Ooze reigns supreme. And not a lot of people run them, because not a lot of people run weapons. But I'm hoping this dude's running weapons. Um, A good response to that. 3-2 would be a 1-1. He'll try to dagger it, he'll fail, and then we'll pull the Sword of Justice and finish it off when he kills it. We must cleanse the sun no, we won't. He's going to play 3-2 in the sky. Okie dokie. Follow the rule. Let's give him some bad trades. Not necessarily bad trades, but not the best trades. Worst case scenario, he plays two creatures. Oh, he's playing secrets. Oh dear. Put this apple on your head. Wow. Mind if I roll knee? Where's consecration when you need it? Actually, I don't want to consecrate this. Oh, now that it's on the board, I kind of do. Or should we be greedy? I like being greedy. There's nothing really to be greedy with, Benchico. If he daggers it, it's dead. Which is very likely. Turn 5. He's going to play enough creatures to be able to reliably dagger it, so... Oh, why don't you Gilvan make a talk? Whatever his name is. Uh, that guy. I was going to... If you didn't watch the first video, I was going to replace him as soon as possible, or her, as soon as possible with the uh, the 3 drop 2-2 two, two that turns things into 1-1s one, or 5-5s, five, five, so legendary. I'll remember his name at some point. Uh, consecration or Sword of Justice? Eh, I've got a lot of life. Let's Lord avoid Justice. being daggered for a while. And I'd coin into a 2-drop, but, um... He relies on other creatures being out to get value out of him, really. Although, if he is running... What's it called? If he's running Redemption, he might also be running, um, Divine Shield, if he's clever. Reporting for duty. And I think now would be a good time for Consecration. No, I've got the Wombo Combo. And he's only got 6 damage on the field, so... Actually... Hmm... I could then coin... I don't want to coin into anything. Let's do it. For justice. Good. He's got to deal with an 8-7 now. And because he's a paladin, he's not going to have a lot of high removal. I think worst case scenario, he plays Sylvanas right now. And even then we can play the game. The game of dice. Put this apple on your head. Knife juggler, cool. Follow the rule. That's really, really annoying. 
Okay, Benchko, I dub the Recruit Eater. And would now be a good time to Wombo? Hmm. Do I want to keep a 1 7 that's making all my shit really expensive on the field? And do I want to waste the quality consecration? Yes, I do. Alright, we have massive card advantage. Holy shit. Actually, the coin doesn't really count. It's 6 plays 5. He's got the life advantage, but we've got a lot of talent. Blood Mage Thanos is gonna die. He's gonna waste his hammer. For justice! Now, two, five, seven, two, five, nine. Now that's a solid play. Eh, we'll save Argus for when he's got stuff on the field and we actually need to hunt. We must cleanse the sun well. I was thinking what hard removal would mess with this right now. Let's hedge our bets against Consecration, shall we? So right now if, you cons if, he, if I Divine Shielded that, sure I've got a 5-4 up longer that's daggering things, but Consecration would take out two creatures. Whereas right now... The rules. Good, I'm glad. And that's his last Elder Peacekeeper. Does that get down? Or is that reduce health to one? If it is get down, I want to swing with my one four. But I don't at the same time. Let's further hedge your bets. <laughs> It's not get down. It is either eye for an eye or another revive. This is my responsibility. That's revive. Follow the rules. Um do we want to have any three one or three three? Push forward. What kind of question even is that? And let's not play anything more in fear of consecration. So what's the worst case scenario? Not too worried about Sylvanas. We maintain board and card advantage. We're pretty low. That's worrisome. I hope you like my Since we don't have any more taunt in our hand. We can kill that. Oh, beautiful. I forgot I had Swamp Ooze. Cool. This is why I hold on to these things. It's a 3-2, and it's a good 3-2, but you can get so much value out of it. Especially if you top deck a Defender of Arcus. Um, what are we going to taunt up? The rightmost two? Or the middle two? Or... Squire. Yeah, let's taunt up the squire. The light protects me. Shit, I should have killed that first, that one. My seal for There's plenty of time. And we squandered the coin completely this game. Hey, catch! The freak! Warning! I want a big taunt. Actually, no, I don't. I should have traded the taunt. Anyway, whatever. We're good. We got 2 2. Oh, wow. Okay, we got a taunt to deal with this. How much damage are we doing next turn? One. <clears throat> oh, shit.
Okay. I can deal. Oh, the latency. I'm uploading a video right now, so it's a little bit laggy. Cool, we got lethal next turn. Do we? Yeah, we do. More than lethal. Quite a bit more than lethal. What's he got in his hand? Hopefully it's just the kings. Is it kings? I'm thinking it might be kings. My shield for Argon. He's thinking about whether or not he'll survive next turn. Okay, let's think about this. Three, four, five. Join or die. The light Reporting for duty. Come on, fifty fifty, we win. No, we don't win yet. Whatever. The battle. Hey, catch. I think the way I traded there maximized my chances of winning because if I not traded and tried to kill the taunt first, it would have been well played. Actually it was the same. The victory is well played. Straight to the motherfucking top of the paladin deck. Here we go. Silver hand knight. Damn! We're doing this, we're going on top. Alright. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed those two there's a few spots here and there where we didn't quite make it, but I feel like... What were the deciding factors in that game? The Avenging Wrath, the 8 damage to random units, I hope that's what it's called. I think he got really unlucky with that, so we were able to lay down a lot of damage, which we wouldn't have been able to if that had hit poorly, or if the knife juggler had been killed. I think that was the deciding turn. I'll do that. Each time there's like a deciding turn in the match, I'll try and point that out. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We're going to continue to the top. Hopefully we can keep the streak going. I haven't had to delete any content so far. Because it's all been wins. Thanks for joining me. Bye.